I'm Joseph Roth, and I'm a student researcher here with the GVSU's Mobile Applications and Services Lab. And I am glad to say that we just fought our ways out of the crowds at the Woodland Apple Store. We have our very own new iPad. So here we have the box in all its shrink wrapped glory. Let me go ahead and open it on up and see what's inside. This beautiful picture on the front that lets us know exactly what it is. The uh, aluminum Apple logo. And there are special extra small UPCs that make it hard to scan them with your macro lens on your camera. And once we open it up, we're greeted by the iPad itself, which also comes in its own pristine shrink wrap to keep it clean from all contact. We have this little envelope which contains, I guess, our instruction manual, which is a solid whole page. I guess there's not too much for one button. Your legal disclaimers. And of course, the obligatory Apple uh, stickers. These are kind of like, you can display them anywhere you like, and people know that you're an Apple fan and you have all the Apple products. And as far as stuff inside the box, there's not very much. We have a wall charger that converts to USB so that you can use the standard Apple um, docking charger here. As far as the rest of the box, that's everything that's in there. We are removing the plastic and letting it see the light of day for the first time. And now we're going to go ahead and plug this into a computer and power it up. All right, we got this open on up, and the first thing that I noticed are these little um, jet lines in the sky. I thought the screen was scratched at first, but if you notice that the icons are moving across them, it's uh, in the background, a little confusing. I'm going to go ahead and open on up the browser. The large screen is definitely really amazing. Um, how much you can see at once. Just a really clean interface and again we have all the the multi-touch features. Uh, another nice thing that I've noticed in just a few minutes is that the the keyboard is um, quite large and quite easy to type with. So you see you can actually use all four of your fingers and touch type quite nicely. Going around looking at the different applications. Our lab here developed an application for the iPad, so we're going to take a look at that for the first time in the actual device. Um, here's the App Store in its full glory. We got a much larger view. You can see a lot more at once. The transitions between the different device orientations are pretty smooth. I'm going to go ahead and search for our application. Here's our application. It has news feeds from the campus. And 
the useful campus maps. It tells us where we're at and how to get to various buildings around campus. In the media, we also have a collection of different Flickr photos that have been tagged with Grand Valley.